Hi everyone, this is Ringo TV and I'm Hugh Keys. Uh, today we have a very special guest. Please welcome Mr. Richard Devine. <laughs> the man! <laughs> The master of modeler, the Jedi of sound designing. <laughs> thanks for um, taking the time to do this interview. Oh, absolutely. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. So it's your first time being in Korea, right? It's my first time yeah. here, yeah. I thought it was a little bit bizarre because uh, the Korean. Korea, it's in your blood. It's in my blood. I'm half yeah. Korean, yeah. And I, we, it was funny. We were, I was talking to my mom in the hotel. The, you know, she came. She's come on this trip with me here, yeah. and, and so it's like the funny story was always, that, you know, hey, I've been to all these places. I go to Japan all the time and China, yeah. but I've not been to Korea. Exactly. And it, it, it always would bum me out, mm. you know. And I'd be like, man, I, I'm just bummed out. I'm, I, I'm Korean. I'm half Korean. I haven't been to Korea yet. Come on, you know. So. Uh, I'm extremely happy that I finally actually yeah. made it here and got to play a show here and it was a really fun show and uh, yeah, I couldn't be more happy with the way things went and um, so yeah, my prayers have been answered. I finally, yeah. I finally, I finally made it to the homeland. Right, yeah. So I mean, last my session, it was just amazing. Oh, thanks. Super aggressive, full of energy. I mean, I was expecting more like meditational stuff perhaps. Like yeah, mellow stuff. That might have but probably worked like, better in that wow. room. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I really enjoyed the room with it, such high ceilings, it probably would nice have been a more appropriate room. set. Yeah, I've been playing. Um, so I've been touring for the last three or four months, mostly in Europe, I'm playing festivals, because I just finished uh, festival season in Europe. And right. typically, war, what I've been playing for those shows have been more aggressive sets. You know, mm. they're shows between two in the morning, three in the morning time slot where people are probably pretty drunk and, exactly. you know, I, I played for some pretty rowdy crowds <laughs> over the past few months, so uh -huh. they've generally wanted things to be more aggressive. Right. Um, so my, my sets had been just kind of mutated into uh -huh. being a little more on the heavier side over the last uh, two see. months because I'd been playing a lot of shows that were, right. um, so. Uh, yeah, probably didn't need to go as hard as I did last night, no. but it was, uh, you know, um, but I, I, it was still fun. It was still fun to, uh, uh, you know, I always get a good kick out of, because um, it's always a little different, I, you know, with the modular, as you know, you can change things, you can change the tempo of things sure. and the timbre of things at uh -huh. any second, so you can kind of read the room in a way, you like, um, with, with that instrument, like depending on what the crowd's feeling or, um, you know, you can really dynamically shift the performance in whatever way you feel emotionally is mm -hmm. matching the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I felt uh, like I really wanted to, I don't know, just wanted to, to kind of just blast for a little bit. <laughs> it's really cool. I, mean, uh, I remember that part uh, when things go really quiet and then all of a sudden the kick goes like crazy <laughs> and your, your face was like, yeah! <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I love those moments where you have yeah. like a tension. You're yeah. you know, there's a, like you, you don't quite know what uh, might happen exactly. next, and then all of a sudden, it's like, you wow. just you're in a whole different. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, like lifting things up. <laughs> right. Yeah, so I play on a lot of big uh, sound systems, mm -hmm. and the disadvantage to that is usually bigger sound system with subwoofers will vibrate the system from the bottom up. And the problem with that is the, uh, the screw fittings for your outputs and inputs for special like control voltages and audio, they actually screw unloose. So a lot of times when I'll come home after a trip, I'll, I'll open my case and then the, the rings have just, or they're just loose inside my case. They fall on my floor and I have to re tighten them um, so I'm constantly retightening my case after each show because you know typically for most festival type situations I'll show up earlier in the day mm. I'll set up my system and then I'll play later in the night but then all the other performers play right. before me so right. my modular system is sitting on this table for maybe six hours mm. or seven hours before I, I actually get to it and it's getting pummeled all night uh, by you know permanent uh, vibrations of sub subwoofers uh, for hours and hours, right. so uh, you do that weekend after weekend, uh, gig after gig. Mm -hmm. 
some of the components get loose, some of the stuff that's screwed together, um, that stuff just, you have to check it. <laughs> I've learned because I've come home a few times and had some modules that weren't working and um, then I would have to remove the modules and look right. inside my case to see what's come loose. Yeah, sometimes you find some, some unhappy surprises. <laughs> Did that happen um, last night as well during the show? Or before? I actually did have, yeah, I had two points in my set last night where the vibrations were uh, so, so strong. I was just like, oh, that's not the knob. That's yeah, not the knob. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, uh, I, I couldn't see the image of the video. I know mm. they had a, uh, a video camera.